Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. So today we're going to explore a way to thin silicone without using something like a solvent. And this is uh, per uh, many of you requesting uh, such a, uh, an option, uh, something that is, uh, can be used for skin contact, food contact, and also for delicate items like uh, PLA, which is a bioplastic, or uh, regular plastic. Uh, solvents will dissolve plastic. So uh, for many of you, that's not an option. So I've done some checking around, and I have found something that I think is going to work for us. Now, uh, it's also non-flammable and uh, no VOCs. So uh, a couple other pluses here. And it's something that you may already have in your craft area. Uh, you may recognize it as uh, acrylic pour oil. Well, this is essentially silicone oil. Now, how safe is silicone oil? Well, it's used in medicine and uh, even for eye surgery. So very safe stuff. Okay, so we're gonna need some silicone and some silicone oil. And of course, if we want to speed cure it, well, the cornstarch will work for us too. So I'm going to mix up a little bit. And uh, some of you have asked me to actually use some of the stuff that I uh, demonstrate. And uh, I assure you that's not going to be pretty, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, I think we've laid it out. Let's get started. All right, so I always recommend uh, that you... Uh, Mix your ingredients in a uh, Ziploc bag or something that's disposable, and uh, that will keep you from making a mess. And I actually have a video on how to do that, and I'll post a link to that. I'm going to mix out here on a plate so that you can see uh, how it mixes for yourself. And I'm just going to squirt out just a little bit. And we're going to need to add a good amount of uh, silicone oil. And this is a by eye sort of thing. And what I just did there was about a 50-50 mix. Just work it a little bit. And just continue to work until uh, the uh, silicone oil is completely taken up into the silicone. And as you see, it, uh, it thins out very nicely, work it vigorously, and that solid piece is from the tube itself. Now at this point, well, just shake in some cornstarch, and if you want an accurate dry time, you can refer to uh, uh, my video on... Uh, the exact ratio, which is uh, 10 parts to one part. So that's 10 parts silicone to one part cornstarch, and that will give you an approximate dry time of about one hour. The more cornstarch that you use, the shorter your dry time will be. As you add the cornstarch, it will add just a little bit of thickness as we go along. And there we have it. Here was what I initially poured out and I've let it cure. And I, uh, this was my uh, project that I will put up so that you can see. I told you it wouldn't be pretty, but it essentially worked. I have a silicone coated on these work gloves that will last a long time. Now I could have continued to add more layers as I wanted. All right, so there we have it. How to thin silicone using something that is uh, safe, a non-solvent option. It's just that simple. Uh, so uh, it's a few dollars, maybe five for that amount. The larger the quantity that you buy, the price goes down, of course. And uh, silicone little corn starts to speed things along. Now, in working with this, I've come up with something else. 
And I'm going to think that th we're going to call this a uh, how to make a DIY memory phone. And that's coming next. So uh, what you'll want to do, of course, is uh, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now. Oh, I don't need to put gloves on just yet. I'll be careful and I won't get any on my hands.